guys welcome to my channel this is Jamie with forever books and today I am going to be doing the booktube a 2018 wrap-up video I'm sorry I haven't made any other videos besides my first two for this challenge it's just been a, cr a crazy week and I just did not have time as well as reading my books and finishing all of my challenges so good news is today's Monday but good news is, is that I finished my seven books by Friday so I was very happy about that um, and I just didn't have a chance to record anything since then so since my last video I finished Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch which I would give 3.75 stars um, definitely was not my favorite contemporary that I've read or listened to and I'm not sure if it was the narrator of the book or if it was the actual book itself I just truly did not feel any connection to this to the characters of the story um, I thought Carolina was kind of annoying I thought her mother even though she passed away early on in the book wasn't that great either because she never even tells this girl like who her real father like there's just so much stuff going on and I just I just didn't like it it just wasn't for me so I don't think I'll be picking up love and luck by the same author I don't think so just didn't care for the book um wasn't for me um Friday night I watched Matilda which I still love love that show love that movie it's so cute um I there was no major differences between the movie to the book adaptations the honestly like the biggest was that Lavender goes instead of going like at the school she goes to her house and goes into like the pond at her house and finds the the newt that she puts in Trunchbull's um, water in the class that was literally like pretty much the only difference oh and then Matilda um, does all that stuff to Trunchbull at her house and not at the school in front of the rest of the kids but it's not even enough to really change or alter the story enough to where it makes a difference. So honestly, they're they're pretty much spot on with each other, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I also finished for my The Beautiful Spine one, I finished Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alair Zanaz. I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name. But I had already started this. Um, I was like an hour into it before the challenge started. And I knew I wasn't going to have time to physically read another book. So I figured I would just go ahead and finish this and listen to the audio while I was at work. So it worked out for me really well. And I really enjoyed this book. At first I was having a hard time getting into it. And I don't know, like something triggered and I was like, okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, I, I care, I liked Aristotle as a character. Dante, I really didn't feel a connection towards. And I felt he was really immature for his age. I felt Aristotle was a little bit more mature than Dante was. I'm not really sure why. And I'm not really sure like what the difference between the two characters was. I feel like they, they created more of a character with Aristotle than they did with Dante. But I really enjoyed the book. I thought it was really good. It was really thought provoking. They it had some good topics in it. Um, the story itself was pretty interesting, and I really enjoyed it. So four and a half stars for that one. My other book, um, my seventh book, which or the seventh challenge, which was read seven books. Um, I ended up going with. Which I have here of fire and stars by Audrey Coulthurst this book was really good I have a hard time sometimes reading fantasy I have to really be in the mood for it but I really enjoyed this and I'm not a hundred percent in the mood for fantasy even right now I'm not but I enjoyed this one I thought it was really well done um, the two main characters which you can see here one is a princess who gets sent away to marry a prince of another town of another kingdom and the princess falls for the prince's sister 
um, and they end up falling for each other, which I thought was, it was actually a super cute story. They did a really good job with it. There's not a lot of fantasies that are like this, and I really enjoyed it. There was still some adventure. It, I can't think of what the other book it reminds me of, but it's definitely like Game of Thrones meets. I'm not sure what and I still haven't figured it out but it's definitely like Game of Thrones type but not fully Game of Thrones but I really enjoyed this one um four and a half stars a book with a green cover was Nimona by Noelle Stevenson five stars I loved this book I loved it it was so cute and it was so well done I loved the drawings, I thought the drawings were absolutely adorable. Am I straight enough? Can you see it? There we go. The drawings were so cute. I really enjoyed it and the humor was on point. Like I loved the humor that was in this book. It was just so well done. I, I really liked it a lot. Um, Nimona is a shapeshifter, which you find out by page two, I think. Um, Ballister Blackheart is the bad guy, like the villain of the story, like of the kingdom. And then Ambrosius Golden Loin is supposed to be like the good knight. Um, but you come to find out that, or not you to come to find out, but his views and ethics on being a villain are very different from Nimona's. But you, she's been through stuff that we just don't know about yet. But you can see in this picture that you can see her wings. She's got dragon wings in this picture. But it was so cute. That it was so funny and just very well done. The story was really good. Highly recommend this book. I, I really enjoyed that one a lot. Um, the book while I was wearing a hat, I did an audiobook. And it was A Very, Very Bad Thing by Jeffrey Self. And I will try to insert a picture of myself wearing I wasn't going into it expecting it to be a sad story. So when I got to the sadness, it was a, I was a little off. Um, this book was definitely extremely thought provoking. It was all about, you know, embracing people for who they are and just do it, you know, love everybody. Um, but it was, it was definitely a good book. Um, four and a half, five stars. I'm still kind of going back and forth only because I was so thrown off by the, by the sadness and the heartbreak in the, in the book itself, but it was really well done. And I thought that addressing these issues were really well done as well. So I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that book. Um, it was just really sad. So forewarning, I did not know. I did not read enough reviews about it. I heard one booktuber's review about it and they said it was good and I was like, oh, I'll listen to it. I should have read the synopsis of the book. But it was still good. I still enjoyed it. It was just really sad. Um, I think that's all of them. So that was seven books in set in five days, actually. Um, I had to do a few changes on my TBR only because I knew I was not going to have time to physically read. I had more books that were physical reads as opposed to audiobooks, but they are still on my TBR and I still plan on listening to them. I'm sorry, I still plan on reading them, just not for these challenges. Um, like one of them was Peter Darling by Austin Chant. I still really want to do that book and I know it's only like 200 pages, so I will get back to that one, I promise. Um, Right now I'm like 40% into another book that I started called Heretics Anonymous, which comes out tomorrow. I got an arc of it. I don't know when that comes out. It's either this week or next week. I can't remember. I really wanted to finish it before it was out. So far I'm loving that book. It is so funny. Them addressing, or the way that the author addresses the whole religious thing at a Catholic school was really well done and it's so funny so far um I'm like 45 percent into the book right now and he goes the main character goes to a catholic school and it's just it's it's really well done there's a whole bunch of religions that are mixed in I'm not catholic
but I'm not offended by what they've said so far in the book. Um, I re I'm really enjoying it and I cannot wait to finish reading this book. I will have to get back to that one and then once I'm fully done I'll do a, a better review of it but so far it's so good. So so good. I am not sure when it comes out but I cannot wait to get a physical copy. Right now I have it in an ebook and um, I forget what website I got it from but I got an arc of it and I cannot wait to finish reading that one. But I think that's all of my... I think that was it for the booktube-a-thon. Completely finished. I'm very proud of myself that I read that many books in five days. Cannot believe that I finished it. Did not think that was going to happen, but I persevered and I did it. Um, I just don't have a chance to put up a video sooner. I'm really sorry. It's been a busy week and a busy weekend. But with that being said, thank you guys for joining me. And if you like this video, click that like button down below and hit subscribe for me so you can see future videos from me. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!